What's good, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to the channel, welcome to the video. So the other day, the baby released his new album, Kirk. I've been banging it out, I've been listening to it. I genuinely proper enjoy this album. Like, I love every single track. But even more so, I really like the production of Jetson Made It. The way how he makes those eight weights bounce, like doom, 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 just sounds crazy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your eight weights bounce and basically making a beat that the baby could rap on. Before we get into it though, I just wanna say a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Distro Kids. So if you've ever wondered how you can get your music on Apple or Spotify or Deezer or whatever streaming platform that you wanna put your music on, Distro Kid is by far the easiest way to do it. You literally just upload your song to Distro Kid and you can select which platforms you wanna put it on and then they distribute it for you across all those other platforms. And they even collect your royalties for you. And the special thing about DistroKid right now is that it's the only distributor that uploads songs to TikTok. So if you've ever wanted to put your music on TikTok and have people dancing and hopefully going viral like Lil Nas X, fingers crossed, then you need to jump on DistroKid. I've got a link in the description below where you can sign up now for the year and get 7% off and upload unlimited songs for the year. So yeah, with that being said, Let's get into it, let's make a fire beat. Ocean gang go drown. Let's get into it. I think the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna go with a piano, I'm gonna open up Philharmonic and I'm just gonna choose this piano right here. And I'm gonna pencil in a melody really quickly. I want that to be a triplet, something like da -da -da -da. So I'm gonna change the time quantize to 1 16th triplet and then just move these more in place and then press Q to quantize it so it quantizes in the right place. Da -da -da -da. Boom, da -da -da -da. Let's repeat this over. I like that, let me just drag these to the top. I wanna make it an octave higher. And I'm just gonna repeat this over, I'll keep it nice and simple. I'm thinking as well, I think some like half speed could go nice on this melody. And let's choose 50%. Oh, I like that. It's a bit too low. So I'm gonna troll everything, move it up an octave. Oh, I like that. Let's pull this down a bit. So the effect of half speed is a bit less. Got the foundation down, I think I'm gonna add in why not? Let's add in a flute. Can never go wrong with a flute. I think I use a flute like in all, almost all my beats these days. It just always sounds so good. Right, I think I got it. Let me just go ahead and record that. Control everything, quantize it, and then control everything again, shift, backslash, the force legato. And I think I'm gonna leave the melodies like that, it sounds nice and simple. I'm gonna go ahead, add some drums on top now, and then we finally get to the 808s. I think this is a bit slow. I'm gonna raise it to like, let's try like 125, 26. I'm not actually gonna make the hi-hats from scratch this time. To make this a lot easier, a lot faster, I'm just gonna drag in one of these hi-hat patterns, these midis. I've been making this massive kit called the Cup Kit. It's got 
kicks, it's got hi-hats, 808s, melodies. It just makes the process a lot more faster. So I'm just gonna drag in like one of these random hi-hat patterns. I like that one, but I think it could be a nicer one to go with that. Oh, I like this. I think I'm gonna add in an open hat now. Just turn that release a bit. I think this sounds good so far. I'm just gonna leave the bass like that. I'm gonna add the 808 on top. And I guess the first thing when it comes to making fire bouncy 808s, you need to choose the right 808. Sometimes I use one called Narwhal from my pack, but then there's also a sick one that everyone uses called the 808 Zay. And if you haven't got that 808, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can go ahead and download that. I'm gonna be using 808 Zay in this one. For my 808s and Logic Pro Rex, I always use Alchemy. I'm just gonna go ahead and initialize the preset. Then I'm gonna go saw and then import the audio here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and search for the 808 Zay. Make sure you hit sampler, then import. We're good to go. To get that crazy 808 bounce, you need to mess around with the 808s in the higher octaves. So usually when you do 808s, it's in the lower frequencies, but something like Jetson made it does, he puts it up in the, in the higher frequency. So it almost sounds like a counter melody. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm just gonna control everything, Command A, put it down a few octaves. And just to make this hit a bit harder, I'm gonna open up overdrive, turn up the drive a bit, maybe even turn up the tune, the tone. Two thousand years later. I finished penciling in my 808s. We start with the first note, the root note being like a low octave, and we keep moving up until we go into a higher octave. And the way how we get the bounce, you have to place the 808s in like really, almost like random places. So if you listen to this, it kind of throws you off. It's not like a typical bounce. You have to put your 808s in weird places. I mean, it's still in time, it's still got rhythm. It's just not the, I guess the orthodox bounce, if you want to say that. It just hits differently. When you have your eight weights going up in notes and up in octaves, it's, called, it's almost like another melody on top of this. And the way how it hits, I don't even think I need to add a kick on top of this. It, the eight weight kind of acts as the kick. So all together, this is what we got now. This would be perfect for the baby. And yeah, it just cooked up a sick beat. Super simple, but I can definitely hear the baby going hard on top of this. This is perfect for him. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button right now. And also, if you want to download that 808 so you can have your 808s bouncing like this and hitting hard, the link will be in the description where you can download the 808 Zay for free. And yeah, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, join the family right now. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the future.